просто пиздец. Это не будем вырезать дальше. dust so basically it's a constant recirculation those uh, once you run them on AC they actually don't take um, air from the outside period it takes it from the cab runs it through evaporator so just imagine the amount of uh, dirt and dust that collected on that wet piece over the years so that's been removed new expansion valve new AC compressor however there is a small leak somewhere and uh, AC escapes So uh, the fact that all this work's been performed is very good already. And uh, let's make a right turn. So here is our uh, beautiful Orlando downtown main drag. Um, Florida, winter time, very nice and cool. Clean, as you can see. No bums, no bums, trash, or any of that nature. Wonderful city. So now let's talk about the Subaru. Uh, it's decent overall, it's a nice piece. It's not a beater, you know, it's not a dead fish by any means. It has some sun fade on the doors here and there. Uh, this thing is broken. The reason that thing is broken is because there are plastic tabs on the tap on top and they catch one to another and they break off. So that's some uh, project for you, for a new proud owner down the road. So you need to remove the sunroof, it unscrews from the top, that comes off and you mess with those tabs. So they start catching on one another and it will work. Supercharged. So, uh, what else? Interior is decent, you know. Not a, not a trash can here, you know, it hasn't been smoked. I haven't found any butt, butt spots on the seats. It's clean, clean seats. Some sun fade on the plastic, but it all can be, you know, I had Subarus before where I had to remove all the plastics and tie them out and send them down and put some dye on. All this work can be performed here. So uh, this vehicle uh, did have some sun fade, nothing major. It, was majorly on the right side I guess the way it's set under a carport in Japan so when the Sun was heating it, it was heating on the right side so we decided to give it a paint job um, you know how it goes with paint guys um, you know and you don't want to put a paint job on this van that cost more than van uh, so we did a good paint job like I think like 3,000 bucks or something like that. Um, at least it's nice, you know, and the paint itself was pretty good. And uh, it's done decent. It doesn't have any trash or anything like that. It's a decent paint job. However, that little spot which I uh, am displaying on the... Uh, look, look at our concert hall. Show that, man. That's badass. Very nice. Beautiful concert hall. That's very nice. World class right there. So, uh, long story short, yeah, that spot there, I guess there was a little piece of um, stone chip, so to say. And uh, we did paint job like a couple of years ago. And that stone chip in the Florida moisture developed in that rust bubble. You know, you can do whatever, you can clean it, treat it, put a sticker over it, put an emblem, drill a hole through it, put an antenna to it, but anything you want that's the only kind of weird thing that happened on this van and it's not a rust bucket by any means however you know Japanese cars are so cheaply made they're they rust from the inside out anyway so the 
fact that this is not a you know, rust bucket Swiss cheese deal is already a bonus. Um, it doesn't have any rust on the doors or any of that nature. Runs good. Let's turn some lights on. How do we do that? There you go. Everything works. Supercharger light comes on. Smooth. It doesn't have any play in the suspension. Shocks are surprisingly good. Um, I think we imported this vehicle like three, four years ago. I'll put the uh, description to all those details down. And it's just been hanging around from one garage to another. And it's kind of time to sell it now. Cranks right up, like boom, first crank, instant. Uh, runs good. Again, air conditioning's been serviced, and for the time it's set, it ran out of gas. Um, what else? Everything works. Mirrors, glass is original to the van. Uh, mirrors are not fading by any means. Uh, this one's got a couple of spots in there, but you know, a mirror is a film from the back of the glass, you know, that metallic film, so it starts corroding. So normal on all old cars. What else? Um, look at that one touch mirrors. Huh? One touch. That's pretty cool. When you slow down, you have this nice supercharger whine. It's like. something like that so um, look at this setup double radio Panasonic um, service wise uh, oil's been changed and that's it you know it's up to you to change your CVT fluid your supercharger fluid all that stuff you know that's all up to the new crowd owner um, um, runs good as you saw in the pictures the way this transforms it's actually very easy uh, you can I can probably do it while driving but let's not do that so you pop this thing up like this and then you press this down and you twist it you see just like that and they twist around and you can have a little party going on here imagine how cool is that on a van meet so um, front front optics are very good shape everything the headlights turn signals the uh, um, all those fog lights and everything around it it's all nice and again paint is nice on this van you know it's it's more than acceptable, um, except that one piece. Um, with proper paint correction detail and uh, let's say uh, ceramic coat and all that stuff, this will be a mirror. So it's, it's a nice, nice van. And again, only got painted because of the fade. Thank you. 
scraps. You're not gonna find them. They're excellent condition. Um, you know, steering wheel does tell a lot about the condition of the car, more or less, you know. It's got some shine to it, but it doesn't have any wear. It's got texture all the way around it. So, you can see, you know, it kind of discolored over the years. Um, you know, you can see discoloration on it, but... Let's pass this bunch, drag race right there. Look, number one, boom. That's zero to 60 in 35 seconds. <laughs> but it does 60 quite effortlessly, somewhere about four plus thousand RPM. Motor runs good, everything. The way CVT engages, it does have a little, um, so to say firm engagement at first if you kind of over throttle it but if you go you know gently it's fine there is a clutch in the cvt that engages the belt if you didn't know um, so there is a clutch and the belt both uh, again oh we got a rear heater what else Oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Check that out. You know that mm -hmm. the Japanese... Um, you can put a turn signal if you want there, and it will light up. Um, everything lit. All the light bulbs work. this vans is they're very very hard to find nowadays especially that it's not a beater you know um, I've seen some before for a sale here and there and they're all beaters Mo most of them are so this one at least is a nice unit nice piece and you can work with it as a, as a good start on your uh, journey to uh, have a perfect Subaru van, you know, it can happen with this, with this unit. Uh, and, uh, look, the sun visors are nice, they're not dirty, black, broken, this is decent, clean. Look at that, we got a V12 
VIP spot, right? No, we do. Check this out. Oak Ridge Gun Range. Yeah, it's time to shoot some 45. All right, fellas. Beautiful van for a new proud owner. 